make sure to subscribe and thumbs up the video. All right, on to the vlog. Who are you, sir? Okay, so you have to be very, very quiet. Y'all remember that cartoon? Sleepy. And I think she's coming down with something. Um, you guys already know if one of them gets sick or has the sniffles, the other one's bound to get it too. And you guys know he's had the sniffles for a couple of days now. Anyway, good morning. How your baby daddy, your sister, and you? Cause what I'm doing. Shimmy? Cause what I'm doing. And you hubby too. How y'all living, fam? It is, y'all, she's snoring, y'all. Ah. Yeah, you can just talk with your mouth open. <laughs> it is Wednesday up in this B, y'all. And uh, yeah, y'all, Jayla woke up a little bit fussy this morning. She, was, um, she wasn't the best sleeper last night, so I knew today she was gonna be a little on the <laughs> sleepy side. This is actually very early for her to be asleep, so I know she's definitely coming down with something, so I'm kinda glad she fell asleep. Um, got done changing the kiddos, went ahead and gave them their babas. So you're gonna see babas, and you guys know when they're in here just hanging out while I'm trying to get set up to change them and all that stuff, they tear up the room. Um, and then I just go through and clean it up again. So whatever you see behind me, disregard. Yeah. It is Wednesday up in this B. Um, is it? I think it's Wednesday up in this B. And yeah, y'all, I apologize for yesterday's vlog. Yesterday's vlog was like all over the place. And it was just a, crazy like busy day with the kids and I picked up the camera whenever I could and then my battery died and I'd forgotten to charge the battery so I had to let the battery charge for a few hours before I could actually pick up the camera again. Anyway, um, today is a regular day in the neighborhood. I always say that, look, but there's always some kind of adventure that these kiddos put me on. Um, today is gonna be a little bit different. <clears throat> my boy Ron is coming over. Huh? What's wrong? Yep, Ron is coming over. Mm. My boy Ron is coming over for the fourth time. And he is actually gonna be, he's gonna be helping me with um, um, some projects coming up. I'm finding that I'm a tad bit overwhelmed, which I'm sure you guys could probably tell from the recent weeks. I'm a little overwhelmed and so he's gonna help me with some of the projects that I have coming up so that I don't get too far behind because I find like I'm getting behind and you guys know um, number one thing in my life is being a mom and everything else is after that um, of course being a wife and all of that to juice as well but in our minds being parents are is the number one thing and so I'm always wanting to make sure my kids are tended to and all of that and then it gets me behind on work related stuff and then I'm just you know I'm getting freaked out and stressed out because I'm not hitting deadlines and that kind of thing and I don't like doing that because I'm very anal about making deadlines and stuff so Ron is going to help me out with some projects um, you guys know he edited uh, the kiddos first birthday party and uh, yeah yeah and he did a great job with that. So he's gonna be helping me with some projects. So you're gonna see him periodically here on the vlogs a lot more. Um, I don't know how often, but as often as um, he will allow me to use him to help me out with some of these projects because um, you guys know I'm kind of like a one woman shop here. You know, I shoot and I edit. Juice helps me shoot some videos, but it's not often. It's rare, really. Um, and you know, I don't want to overwhelm him because he has a job himself too. And he comes home from work and the first thing he wants to do is be with the kids. So um, anyway, so Ron's going to help me with some of the projects that I'm doing. He's going to help ease a little bit of the the stuff, you know, just some of the stuff that I know I need to do. And um, so it'll be like having a second set of hands. So he's coming today to kind of get, not trained, but I'm gonna kind of get him acclimated with what is going on. Um, and we're also gonna have um, some assistance here. I'm gonna have my sitter come here for a couple of hours while I take take care of that so that I can just work with Ron and not be running after kids at the same time. So my sitter's gonna be for, here for a couple of hours just to help me out a little bit while I work with Ron. And then we plan to go to the gym. JoJo's gonna work out with me today. Um, and yeah, that's really it. We're gonna see what the day brings. Um, this was unexpected. This is a very early nap for baby girl. So she's gonna be up the rest of the day and she's probably gonna be a little cranky tonight but I'd rather her let, go ahead and mm -hmm. sleep because obviously she's not really feeling too good. Her sniffles, she just started having the sniffles really last night but this morning more so than anything. 
I was going to read to both Jackson and Jayla, but Jayla fell asleep. So I'm just going to read to Jackson a couple of his favorite books, but probably not going to read this one because this one makes noise. So y'all take a look at this book. Y'all see how they tear, tore this book up? Y'all remember this book? It's like the first words book. It's a hot mm -hmm. mess, but it's awesome because, you know, we go over all the illustrations so you see how much they read this book. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to read a little bit, right? We're going to let Jayla get some sleep and I'm so thirsty, y'all. Oh my God. Anyway, ready? So what's this? Ball. Ball. Yellow duckling. Bike. Purple bike. White rabbit. Look, y'all. This is what's happening to the books. We gotta get some more. I mean, we've got lots and lots of books, but the books, the more we read them, the more they... This is what happens, like the binding is off, the cover is off, but we still read them because repetition is key. Here you go. Hi. How was your nap? Was it good? Was it good? She's like, get out of my way. So I don't even know if I had a chance to address this because I've been getting comments on this periodically throughout the vlogs because I know you guys see the kids have bottles first thing in the morning and at night and I've been getting questioned whether we are going to completely wean them off of bottles. And we actually have, the only bottles that they actually do take are the first, you know, the first bottle of the morning, and then the one that they take at night, and it's just because it's, it's just cleaner, one, and two, it ensures that I give them or they take in every little bit of whatever it is I put in the bottle. So the bottle at night is just to put them to bed, but the bottle in the morning usually has vitamins in it and it has their probiotic in it. So I always like to make sure that they have taken it all the way down. And with sippy cups, they have a tendency to kind of, you know, throw them around, they'll throw them on the ground. Bottles, I can almost be assured that they're going to finish the entire thing. Um, but we have gotten rid of a ton of our bottles. I don't even know if you've noticed, you may not have even noticed on the countertops. Um, and yes, we are eventually going to take them off that first bottle and last bottle of the night. But, you know, they're 15 months. We still have some time to, to do that. Plus, bottles are just easier to take to and from places when you're having to get out. That type of thing. They're not as messy as some of the sippy cups we have. Um, and yeah, it's just more convenient. So, anyway, take a look. So, as you guys can see, we've kind of arranged things a little differently here. So, we don't have anywhere near as many bottles over here as we used to. And this is where we actually had the other one that looked just like this, but we actually got rid of it, including all those bottle parts. And as you guys can see here, all this is gone too. Like we had all those bottle parts, the little bowl with the bottle parts and stuff like that because we got rid of all their bottles, minus those few that we use. And this is really like a transitional cup. So that, so yeah, work in progress. And eventually they're gonna be completely off, but for now we got a little bit of time, so yeah. So Ron's here, helping me. He's gonna be a lot of help for me because 
Lord knows I need it. Y'all see what my child was doing. Say hey. It's gonna be a transition to do all this stuff. We're gonna try to get it done. Ron's over here eating sunflower seeds, but he puts all the sunflower seeds in his mouth with the shells on. Do y'all do that? And then he takes the shells off with his tongue, which don't go there, because I already know you. some of y'all gonna go there. Okay, so we went there. Whatever. What's up, y'all? <laughs> it's gym time, y'all. It's been a few hours since y'all saw us last. Hello. The kids are dressed and ready to go. We're ready okay. to get to this young gym. Ron done came over. I don't know what we shot of Ron, but Ron came over and uh, we kind of started the process of him helping me kind of get things going with stuff work-wise. So hopefully that's going to help out a lot. You'll probably see a lot more of Ron throughout the course of the next however long, right? Y'all see what they do to me? Y'all see? <sighs> Waiting at the door for daddy. Daddy's putting the car seats in the car. And they're ready to go. Dig in, dig in. Nice job. Push, push, push. Doing sleds. This treadmill is not on. Sandy's doing all the work. Nice job, girl. 10, 11. Well, we're not stopping at 10. So if your burnout is 15, we do 15. Oh, we're going to burn out. Okay. And then I'm going to crank up the weight more. I'm going to okay. try to get you where you can't do 10. Okay. Does that make sense? I'm down. Um, so we're going to gradually increase the weight. In between of you doing. So. Let's do, do it. As many of these as you can. Okay. So no. Uh oh. Jump lunges and squat jumps. Oh. Doing 15 of these in between. So you're going to have your heart rate up, burning calories, back down, renewing. One nice job. As many as you can. Nice job. We're doing 15. Y'all, she's trying to kill me, y'all. She's kicking my tail. You hear me? But I love it. It makes me so happy. I come out of these workouts feeling just like a new woman. Plus, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> so we gotta be all the way together by this. Or at least semi all the way together. It's only like a few weeks away. Boom. Okay. Boom. Oh, my favorite. A lemon squeezers. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, nice job. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Job one, two, Five, nice job. We're on the other leg. Seven, two, nice job. Four, one, nice job. Two, three, side bends with 18 pound kettlebell. One, nice job. Two, on the other side. Three, four. Say happy, big girl. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Yo. Hi. Say hi. Hi. And then we had a runaway baby. Of He's course, back. it was him. He's back. Though. We found him. Hi, uh -oh. people. This is why my arms keep getting smaller. That's why you keep getting swole. I don't even do bicep curls anymore. I just pick up babies. You got 20, 24, 23, 23, ah. 23 and 27 pounds. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what's up y'all okay so we're back at home but i wanted to show this to you guys and i wanted to show it to y'all before i took it off the kids were sleeping in the car seat so we're kind of just letting them sleep and juice this in the shower and i'm about to take a shower my dag on self before they wake up but i wanted to show you what i'm rocking around my estoma my stomach <laughs> um i've been wearing this kind of off and on periodically um I'll sometimes forget to put it in my gym bag. Like the last few workouts, I've forgotten to put it in the gym bag because I was cleaning it. Like I like hand wash it and then I'll put it aside to let it air dry and then forget to put it in my gym bag. So anyway, um, you guys know I always wear like little wraps and no, this is not sponsored. You guys know, even when I get sponsored, I always try my stuff out. Like I don't just come out like, hey, what's good? Check this out, we love it and we really haven't for really used it. Like, I All right, see all that behind me? 
Look at how many packages I have to actually try to attempt to open. Like, literally, look at this. Yeah, there we go. So, let me show you real quick before I get into the shower. So, I love this thing. It's one of these, um, it's like, what do you call these? I don't know, it's like a, it's not a waste eraser, but you all know what I mean. It's one of those like eraser, those, those waste things, right? Um, and, Y'all know I don't have a torso, so naturally by default it bunches on me because I'm not a very tall, I'm 5'8", right? But my torso is really, really, really short. So if you have a longer torso, these work better for people with longer torsos. But essentially what it's going to do for me or what it does for me is that it makes my stomach sweat even more. It gets rid of excess water weight. Um, and so when I do exercises, ab work, cardio, whatever... Um, and it also gives you really good back support, which I love, love, love. It kind of keeps you kind of upright because it's really super tight. But it's one of those like waist cinchers. You all, know what I'm you all know what I'm talking about. I will tell you when I first got this, um, I was heavier and it was harder for me to put this bad boy on. I've since lost a ton of inches. It had to have been because this is super impossible to put on. So anyway, it has a little wrap thing. I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. Um, here, hopefully you guys can see that. So there's the zipper, right? Okay. And then it has these two little flaps like that, which holds you in even more, right? The zipper, and it goes down here. So I literally, oh, see that? Okay, so y'all see the <laughs> indentations? But anyway, yeah, so it makes you sweat and stuff. I'm not sweating as much anymore because obviously I have cooled off uh, to kind of, you know, help with reducing the stomach. So we'll see, I'll keep you posted on all of that, but I can definitely tell I've lost, oh I hear my kids, I can definitely tell I'm losing um, inches and stuff. I have a weigh-in on Saturday in the next few days with JoJo. She was gonna weigh me in today, but I had this on and I had a, I just, you know how you have to be in the mindset for it and I wasn't there and I didn't wanna have that on when she weighed me and I didn't wanna have to take it off and put it back on. So Saturday she's gonna weigh me in. Hi baby, where'd you put your bubba sweet pea? Ah, I see it honey bunny. Come on now. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. There you go. There. <laughs> he said, nah. On, Bruh, I'm done. Bottle, How was your workout, babe? Oh, the workout was good, man. Did you have a good one? We got there a little earlier. I, I, know, got, he I, said got, about a, I got about a good 55 minutes to an hour. You know. That's good. Worked a little bit of chest. A little bit of biceps, a little bit of oblique, you know, I had to get my stuff right, you know. Yeah. Just in case we go to the beach this year, you know. Gotta, yeah, man. Gotta, gotta get it right, get it tight. Get it right, get it tight. We'll catch up a little bit. Yeah. It took her, it took her two minutes to tell me about her trip. You walked away. Well, no, no, no. You went on to get your workout on. No, no, no. Y'all, y'all, y'all went to go work out. No way. I'm saying it took her two minutes to tell me about her trip. Kind of hard to believe it took her an extra 30 minutes to tell you. That she had to give me the details. That very same trip. Look at Jack. Look at Jack trying to get out. The one thing I will never get over is when they reach for you. I will never, ever, 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 ever get past that or ever over that. I love it. And they both always reach for me at the same time. So I'm so used to picking them up together. And they are heavy, y'all. They're not the lightest kids in the world, you know. Jayla's really not heavy. It's it's this one. He's heavy. He's a that's his. This is a big boy right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all, look, we're about to settle in, put the kids down, get them in the bed. Hopefully, we can put Jayla down in the crib and Jackson both down in the crib. But as you can hear, Jackson, you know, has a little stuffy nose. Jayla's got a little bit of the runny nose also. Um, Jackson has a tiny bit of a cough, but this, I don't think it's, I don't think it's really that bad. And it's expected after they went to that little um, party. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and put them down and uh, get some rest and try to nibble on something real quick. But yeah, y'all, while you guys are here, thumbs up this video. If you love seeing these videos from your girl and your boy and your girl and your boy, subscribe to become part of the fan bam. And uh, yeah, y'all, hit that bell next to the subscribe button down below to be notified of new vlogs as well, because y'all know, YouTube. They don't be sending out the notifications all the daggone time. It doesn't show up on the subscription feed all the time. So if you want to see the vlogs, hit the bell down below. And check mark that you want to be notified of new vlogs. 
And yeah, y'all, anything you want to say, babe? Hit that bell, y'all. Just ring it, all right? Anyway, y'all, love y'all. We'll see y'all on tomorrow's vlog. I have a book around, I'm sure, I'm sure you can see it. Anyway, love y'all. Bye.